science rules, and so does finding your happily ever after. Bill Nye and Liza Mundy are now Mr. and Mrs. Science Guy after saying I do in a private ceremony last month, according to People. Bill, 66, and Liza, 61, married at the Castle Buildings Hopped Garden at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. Robert Picardo, the actor best known for portraying emergency medical hologram Mark Kai or the doctor across multiple Star Trek franchises, served as the officiant. For the wedding, Bill reportedly wore cufflinks with small blue stones in the center that belonged to his father. His blushing bride wore a classic satin sleeveless gown with a mermaid hemline, according to People. Liza paired the outfit with a jeweled belt at the waist that shimmered against her colorful bouquet. Her daughter, Anna, attended the ceremony, as did Bill's brother, Darby, and a school friend of more than 50 years named Brian. At the reception, Darby, Anna, and Brian shared words of congratulations and toasted the new couple. Liza slipped into sparkling sneakers for the reception, where she and Bill danced to Sam Cooke's rendition of What a Wonderful World as their first dance as husband and wife. Pete Souza, a longtime White House photographer, captured their special day for them to remember. Bill's private life had remained very much that, even when he became one of America's most prominent science figures. People shed light on how this romance came to be. Liza, a former Washington Post reporter and New York Times best-selling author, mentioned Bill's mother, cryptanalyst Jacqueline Jenkins Knight, in her book Code Girls, The Untold Story of the American Women Codebreakers of World War II. When Bill learned of his mother's inclusion in the book, he wrote Liza an email, which began a friendship that turned into a love that took them down the aisle. Though Bill has kept his personal life away from the spotlight, he assured fans in 2017 that the blessing and the curse, the blurs, of Bill Nye is, what you see is what you get. I really am passionate about science, and I really am a regular person. I can't be unlike the way the guy in the Science Guy show is on all the time, Bill added in his talk with the Smithsonian Magazine. You can't project that energy all day. At the same time, if I go into a grocery store, you might presume that I came into a grocery store to sign grocery bags, that's what it may look like to a patron. But a lot of the time, the reason I go into a grocery store is to shop for groceries. But people, my fans, are my bread and butter. I understand that.